Hey CFMA, this is Julie Pace with PSGM Law, an attorney for construction companies. So what's a question I get asked a lot is, how do I deal with problem employees? How do I counsel, discipline, and terminate employees and manage my risks? Well, let's give you a couple tips today and there'll be some PowerPoints to help you. Um, first, assume problem employees, those 10 red flags that are going off, may be guided by an attorney right up front. They may be tape recording. They may be doing all kinds of things. So overall, at companies, you want to have a philosophy that we're trying to have everyone succeed. We're trying to counsel them. We're trying to give them write-ups or discipline or training and retraining. But there's some people who just aren't the right fit or they're playing games. That's the reality of life. And so at that point, your counseling and discipline should be documented, should be um, examples to help them succeed, should put parameters on it so that they have to meet certain goals before they're let go. Uh, it can be a last chance agreement. We use those a lot. And it says, look, we've given you all these chances. You do it one more time, you're going to be in a violation of company policy, practice, or procedure. We're letting you go. And it's just not a good fit for you. So those are the steps, counseling, write-ups, retraining, anything you can do, but you're not required to. So if you're in a state that is an at-will employer, that means you have the right to let people go for any reason or no reason, as long as it's not an unlawful reason. So for example, what does that really mean? It means I'm not gonna, if I'm an employer, I can't say I'm not gonna hire any women if they're pregnant. That'll just cost more time and money. That would be an unlawful reason, we wouldn't do that. Um, so you don't want to do it for any discriminatory or protected class activity because of someone's gender, their race, their ethnicity, their religious uh, beliefs. But what we do want to focus on is what I call the skep of a person, the S-K-E-P, S-K-E-P, skills, knowledge, experience, performance of the person. Because that's not tied to gender or race or anything. It's tied to what are they doing to perform, what experience they have, What's their attitude to get it done? What's their ability to get it done? And how is that working for you with your customers and your business and your teammates at work? So stick with that, that'll minimize your risks. Now, that means don't make any stray comments. Don't make any inappropriate comments. Don't call people names in other languages. Don't use slang like you're lazy because it's gotta be focused on, hey, you were late again for the fifth time, or hey, you didn't do that work correctly at that site. And that's a problem for our customer and for our company, and it's not efficient. And we've taught you we'll do it one more time or else this isn't a good fit for you. So keep that in mind for counseling discipline. If you know you're being tape recorded, you can get legal counsel to help you on the backside. Documentation is important. The government, the courts, the agencies, everyone looks to see what did the company do to help that person learn and understand before they let them go. Now, you don't have to do verbal write-up and termination if they're at will employee. You can terminate people in the first instance at times if they're violating your policies. If someone's on crystal meth and runs through a traffic light, you're going to fire them. You're not going to give them a verbal and a write-up. So we don't like to write what we call progressive discipline and policies either. You should always have the right to discipline up to including termination at all levels. Unless you're a union, we have to follow the collective bargaining agreement, so don't forget that. Now, when it comes to the point where you have to let someone go, I try to teach an easy way to do this that doesn't stress you out and is also professional to the worker that you're letting go. And the words are all in the PowerPoint we're adding to this. So the easiest thing to do is you call people in and you just say the decision's been made, that we are going to separate your employment effective today, and we want to do this in a professional and respectful manner. And we want to thank you for your contribution. So let's talk about your final check and let's talk about the, um, you know, your materials, cards, tools, whatever you need to return. And that's it. If they start fighting with you, say, the decision's been made. We want to do this in a professional manner. So that's it. That's a wrap up for you guys. Hope that helps you with discipline, counseling, and termination, and that this has been helpful to you today. Thanks again, and have a great day.